All right, I'm gonna try my best not to overcomplicate this. All I'll do is type in the minimal style wall arch design inside of Google. What I'm looking for are images of this archway that don't have a lot of additional elements around them. So no couches or chairs or pictures on the walls or anything like that, just like a clean archway. All right, so I think this one works. Once I click on the actual image, it'll bring up all the other images that it has that fall in a similar vein. I like this first one, so I'll click on the first one and it really isn't that complicated. The image doesn't even have to be large. I'm gonna screenshot this image and then I'll probably try to see if I can find one other image that stands out. This orange one stands out to me because it's like a wider version of the same thing and it also doesn't have any of those other additional things that are in the way or distracting. From there, the platform that I'm using is Midjourney. With Midjourney, the easiest thing about Midjourney is that like you can actually type the word describe in, upload a picture that you have. In this situation, we're using the screenshot. And Midjourney will essentially give you the language that you need to be able to describe the type of picture you want Midjourney to create for you. So in this situation, it gives you four options of different language or different approaches to describe the archway. Then from there, you just have to select one that you want to use. So I think I was going to go with four. So I went with the fourth option. It pops up and it'll allow me to put additional language into the prompt, but I'm just going to leave it exactly how it is. Click on submit and let it do its work. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and upload the other one as well, the other screenshot I did, which is the orange back, um, the orange archway, so that it can start working on that one as well while I'm looking at what the results are from that first one. All these other images in the background outside of the archway are not my images, just so you know. So whatever the case is, I'm looking at this. And again, it gives me four different options to choose from. I just have to pick which one of these I want to use. Now, I could literally ask it to make one through four, or I could actually click on this little uh, button at the end of the past the four that would say, hey, I don't like any of these descriptions. Start all over again. I told it that I like the first option, but I don't like the terracotta color. So I changed it to cream and then I'll click on submit from there. And then I'll bounce back to the other one that we were looking at. And these are some of the options that it gave me. I think that these options actually work really well. So I'll use the second option. I'll click on U2, which is upscaling the version two. And then I also hit V2, which is give me some variations of number two as well. So what it'll do is it'll go back through the process. It'll make that number two version larger, but then it'll also give me four additional options to consider. I just wanna stick with this one. I'm going to take the uh, actual image, pop over into a program that I use called Gigapixel. Gigapixel allows me to enlarge small or low resolution images. The image that Midjourney gave me was a little smaller. So using Gigapixel to make the image larger is valuable because then I don't have to worry about it being pixelated when I get to the next step after this. So I'll upscale it about 4X. And just to give you some sense of what that looks like, I'm popping over into Photoshop. This is the enlarged version of the image. And then this is the original image that I actually got from Midjourney. So you can see the size difference between the two files. Then you can go to any place. I found this Kate place that allows you to do custom backdrops. And then you just ultimately just pick a size of a backdrop that you want. And then you upload the file that you just made inside of Midjourney. And then you land here and you're done.